Oh, it smells so good. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video gonna be some. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than I normally do here on my channel. It's gonna be kind of like a chit chat video. I'm gonna be doing the fall favorites tag created by Jaclyn Hill. I wasn't tagged by anybody, but I liked the questions and I thought it'd be something different that I thought you guys might enjoy. So hopefully you do. Um, but there's just a few questions. So hopefully this video isn't too, too long, but I have them here on my phone, which is why I keep looking down, but let me just pull up the questions really quick. So the first question is a favorite candle, which is very, very hard for me to decide because I am a candle hoarder. Pretty much my favorite place to buy candles is Target, Home Goods, and of course Bath and Body Works. They have like some of my favorite scents. But the one I gotta talk about today is from Target. I'm not sure exactly what the brand is, but it's this one called Blonde Woods and Musk. Seriously, this is like a boyfriend in a candle. Just sit here. All day, smelling these candles. It's a very kind of manly scent in my opinion. Um, I can't really describe it because I'm really bad at describing scents. Like the name says, it does kind of smell like slightly musky, but those are the type of scents I normally go for. This is like the biggest size that Target sells, but I think it's perfect for this time of year even though I pretty much burn these type of scents all year round. Another one I gotta talk about, obviously I gotta, I gotta talk about a Bath and Body Works candle. This one is the Black Teakwood. I actually got this one last year, but I picked up a couple of them. So I still have this one left and it's halfway burnt already. And this is like heaven to me. This smells so, so good. Let me see if there's a description. So rich and mysterious Black Teakwood blends with the soft candlewood and crisp lavender. I don't really smell the lavender, but it's definitely more of a rich and mysterious scent. It smells really, really good. I don't know if this is limited edition. It better not be limited edition because I want to get another one. Um, but it smells really, really good. And those are like usually the type of scents I go for. I really don't like like super sweet candles. I prefer more like woodsy, musky candles. Next question um, is a favorite lip color, and I am a lip junkie. Lipsticks are my thing. That's what I just love to buy, and I don't know. It's like my favorite part of my makeup routine is picking out a lipstick. So, of course, I couldn't just choose one. I couldn't just choose two. I chose four. And they are all matte finish, I believe. So, the first one I, I gotta talk about is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the color Truffle. This is just a beautiful brownie new but it's not too dark it's very wearable if you're on my skin tone or lighter or darker it's just a really pretty everyday color and i love the formula of those another one is by lorac and it's one of their i don't know what these are called just like their regular lipsticks but this is in the color ceo i hauled this maybe like a month or two ago and it's just kind of like this deep mauvey color i don't know if lorac reformulated or what because i used to not like their matte lipsticks they were just like way too too dry but now they are really really good and I don't have that issue. I picked out two MAC lipsticks. One was I think limited edition so I picked out one that's part of their permanent line. The one that's limited edition was this one in Runner. It's a matte finish. I think this was in collaboration with Nasty Gal so I'm pretty sure it was just you know limited edition but something that's very similar is Sen which is another matte lipstick. Um, the only difference is the formula. Even though they are both matte, I feel like Sen is a lot drier and not as smooth as Runner. But the color is very similar. It's just Sen is a little bit deeper. Both of them I really like. I think they're perfect for fall. If you like those more vampy looks, these are really good shades. Favorite drink. I don't know. I don't drink too many different things. I pretty much only drink water, tea, and coffee. Like that's all I ever drink. Of course, I drink those things all year round. I guess I drink a little bit more coffee and drink like more lattes around this time of year even though, let's be real, it's like 90 something degrees outside here in Texas. But I have um, been trying the toasted graham latte at Starbucks. That one is really, really good. I got a pumpkin spice the other day and it just, it wasn't the same as what it used to. I don't know if they changed something. I heard they started adding like real pumpkin into it. I mean, I still drink it, it was good, but um, I've really been liking the toasted graham latte, so I guess 
I'll say that one has been my favorite lately. My favorite blush, and I was gonna pick two, but I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be picking more than one product for every question. So I narrowed it down to this one from Milani, so it's very affordable. This is a baked uh, blush in the color Rose de Oro. I got this not too long ago, and I pretty much haven't put it down ever since. It's just been one of my go-to blushes that I think it's perfect for this season. It's kind of like this deeper berry color um, with this like gold veining throughout it, so it just adds such a nice glow to your cheeks. I have it on right now. Um, I have a lot, a lot of highlighter on right now, but this just looks so nice, and it just blends your bronzer and highlight together and it just looks so so nice on your cheeks next one favorite clothing item and it's pretty much what I am wearing right now I got this it's actually like a shirt dress I wore it in a get ready with me I can't remember exactly when that was not too long ago I'll have it linked down below in case you guys missed it it's this shirt dress and it's kind of like this deep plum color I got it at forever 21 so it's only like 20 25 bucks it's pretty affordable and it's super super comfortable and since it's like a shirt dress it's like what I end up wearing around my apartment but if I can find something similar I will have it linked down below for you guys if you're interested next one favorite fall movie and pretty much everyone's video that I've seen so far they've said hocus pocus and I think I'm the only one here on YouTube or ever that doesn't really like hocus pocus I remember watching it as a kid and something about it freaked me out. I didn't like it as a kid. So I guess I can't really say that I don't like that movie because I haven't watched it in so long I don't even remember it. It's just not a movie I ever watched. I have two that I think about watching around this time of year. First one is Frankenweenie. It's a Tim Burton movie. I watched it last year. It made me cry. Pretty much any movie, especially with the dog, it'll make me cry. It was a really, really good movie. I liked it. Um, so yeah, definitely something I would want to rewatch again in October and another one would have to be um, the craft and it's so weird because I used to watch that when I was a kid yet hocus pocus scared me which I'm pretty sure hocus pocus is not scary I did a craft makeup look actually last year or like a craft inspired look it was super easy but yeah the craft is definitely one of my favorite movies favorite fall TV show now I don't really watch a lot of TV I just I don't know, I don't get into a lot of TV shows. I actually get into them very late, like pretty much in the last season or when it's already over. I kind of just like end up binge watching it online. Um, so I've never watched Scandal. I know that's a pretty popular TV show going on right now. I've never seen it. I guess pretty much the only show that I'm keeping up with right now um, is Empire. I really like Empire. Um, and Modern Family. I think Modern Family came back and I really, I don't know, I love that show. It's hilarious. So I guess those two are the only ones I really watch. Favorite Thanksgiving food. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because um, I love all the food. I'm not so much into turkey. I prefer like ham. But the stuffing, the stuffing is what I look forward to every year because it's not something I get to have very often. It's pretty much, I don't know, I only have it around like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So yeah, um, that's what I pretty much look forward to for Thanksgiving dinner even though I love mashed potatoes. But I have mashed potatoes all year round so definitely stuffing would have to be my favorite that I look forward to. Favorite Halloween costume. I pretty much dress up every single year I have since I was a kid. I don't think I've ever gone a year without dressing up um, but last year I did a lot of different like Halloween makeup looks so uh, I was the bride of Frankenstein on Halloween last year my boyfriend was Frankenstein that was really fun it was an easy costume I just kind of went all out with the makeup and hair but it was really fun uh, I really like the craft because that was really really easy um, I also did Jigsaw from Saw, and that was pretty easy as well, and yeah, those were just some fun looks I did last year that were some of my favorites. And that was the last question, so I feel like I hopefully I got through this pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to do this tag video, I tag you. I mean, like I said, I wasn't tagged. I just felt like doing this video. So if you uh, feel like doing it as well, I tag you to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see like more tag videos, maybe challenge videos, I don't know, any of those type of videos that are different than what I normally do, um, just let me know because I never really do these kind of chit chat videos. So, wow.
I think that is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you so much for subscribing. I recently hit 5,000 subscribers, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so I was really excited to that. So thank you so much to each and every one of you that has subscribed and watches my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward every time after I post a video to you guys' comments because everyone is always so nice and positive on my channel. And it was definitely something that kind of made me nervous when I started because I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of like a sensitive person and I was nervous if people were gonna leave me like hateful ugly comments but so far everyone has been really 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 nice to me so thank you guys so much I really do appreciate it and yeah so um, I will see you guys in my next video bye